This video overviews the process of how to view your data in the ACORN Toolkit. It represents the final step in your introduction to ACORN, so if you haven't seen how to submit data yet, click on the card at the top right corner to view this video first. Once your data has arrived in the Toolkit, your next priority will be to look at it. You'll primarily want to view the data on the main Toolkit page, which is like a dashboard. This page is typically updated with new data every 10 minutes. On this page, the toolkit will group the individual forms you submit into cases. Each of these cases will represent one of your current clients. For example, we can see that our client, Steve, is listed here under Client 524, while Olivia is Client 147. A case will be created for any sessions that share a client ID and took place within 120 days of each other. So if you haven't seen a client in over four months and then the client comes in again, you can expect the toolkit to create a new episode of care for this case. You'll notice several columns that show you how various metrics are doing. If you have any questions about what these values represent, click on the hyperlinked column name and you'll be taken to a page with more information. The most helpful thing for a new user to note here is the clinical message column, which you can cursor over to get a brief summary of how that client is faring in treatment. You can also drill down deeper by clicking on a particular client's ID down here. This will take you to that client's graph page. At the top of the graph page, you'll see that you have the option to change the variables that are being graphed. This means that if you're particularly concerned about something like self-harm or substance abuse, you can have the toolkit show you exactly how those variables have done over time for this client. As before, you can click on any terms you aren't familiar with to read up about them. You can also click on the session dates listed below the graph to pull up an image of that client's responses on that date. At the top of the main toolkit page, you'll find a filter labeled Clinician's Toolkit, Select Data View. You have a few options here. The High Risk Cases view will only show you cases that have elevated indicators of self-harm and or substance abuse. This can be a valuable way to parse down a large list of clients to make sure you don't miss any clients who might have elevated risk levels. Be sure that there aren't any surprises on this list, and if there are, make a note of it and plan for that client accordingly. The Cases in Transition view will let you see clients who may be ready to discontinue therapy or otherwise engage in therapy less often. As always, your clinical judgment is key here. Take the toolkit's suggestions as just that, suggestions. Finally, selecting Client Episodes, Data, and Summary will let you view all of your data in your toolkit, so that can be a go-to option for looking at your data. Once you've selected a view type other than Summary only, you'll get a list of any cases that meet the criteria of your filters. Your basic filters are all located in the bright blue box and will let you narrow your search based on the fields you find on the outcome questionnaires. You'll notice that there are also advanced filters that are hidden by default. Feel free to open that up and explore those options as well. Most of the advanced filters track variables that can be captured on the client registration forms. There are two main places you should know about for viewing your data and you can find them both in your home menu. These options are the main toolkit page, which we've now covered, and the forms processed page. The forms processed page is the best place to go if you want to make sure your forms are being received, or if you want to view a recently submitted form. No statistics are being computed here, which means that we are always able to instantly update this page. This makes it an ideal place to see if we've received a digital form you just submitted. This also means that you could have a client submit a form in the front waiting room and then immediately pull up the form and look over their answers in your office. You would just need to visit this page after they have submitted the form, find the appropriate record, then click on the form file hyperlink, which will pull up an image of how they filled out the form. This concludes your introduction to ACORN and should help you get started using the ACORN forms and the toolkit to better inform your therapy. There is still plenty to learn though. For advanced tips on how to get the most out of your toolkit usage, be sure to check out our informational site at www.acorncollaboration.org.